Jess. Hey, Josh. <laughs> how are you? Great, how are you? Good, what's I'm just, up? I'm just gonna ask you 17 questions if that's all right. Sure, come on in. <laughs> all right, cool, thanks. <laughs> so, what's a normal day like for you as the Director of Student Activities? Oh gosh, there is no normal day. <laughs> <laughs> how would you describe your job in three words? Let's see, uh, lively, uh, engaging, how about hustle? Sweet, <laughs> love it. Your office is so cute. How do you stay organized? Uh, Google Calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Easy enough. How do you define a great leader? Oh my goodness. Someone who uh, purposefully gets other people together for some sort of common good. Sweet. Do you have any role models as, um, that inspire you? Gosh, it probably changes all the time, but... I've been keeping up with politics a lot lately, so I think I'm reminded of Michelle Obama's when they go low, I go high. So I'm trying to remember that mantra right now. So she's my go-to right now. Sweet. Um, what qualities do you admire most about them? I think the ability to um, be behind the scenes and do the really intense and dirty work of leadership to not always get the credit for it is something that I relate to a lot mm -hmm. and something that uh, really speaks to me when it comes to someone like Michelle. What well, um, out of these six leadership traits, what is the most important to you? Confidence, intelligence, charisma, determination, sociability, or integrity? Determination, hands down. Do you believe you are more of an authoritative leader or a democratic leader, or a mixture of both? To be fair, I'm more of a mixture of both, to be honest. <laughs> Do you, if you could spend the day with one of these iconic leaders, who would it be? Oprah, Bill Gates, or Gandhi? Gosh, some great ones. I know, they're great. I feel like Oprah. I just really want, um, maybe because of course she's still with us, but I really want to Pick her brain and all the various projects that she's been able to do. She's a leader, not just, of course, in the social context, but um, in a spiritual one, uh, as well as uh, very involved politically. I mean, mm -hmm. granted, Gandhi was as well in all yeah. of those areas, yeah. but um, someone who really, I think, can speak to the modern presence. Yeah. Um, that's why I think I'm more attracted to that person. She's incredible. What is one strength you have as a leader? Hmm. Gosh, uh, let's see, persistence. Did you recognize this trait when you were younger or realized it over time? I think my mom would say that I was a really stubborn child, so I <laughs> probably have had that for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Your role oversees over 60 clubs and organizations, three frats, four sororities, as well as being an advisor to Student Senate in our Community Involvement and Volunteerism Office. What has been the most challenging part of this role? Well, there's four fraternities now, too. We're oh. growing all the time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the most challenging is that we're, we're always growing. We're always looking for mm -hmm. new uh, ways that we can engage students and, and be uh, meet those needs, right? Yeah. So uh, balance is really difficult, but always staying relevant and current uh, is is always a challenge, right? I'm, yeah, I'm forever getting older, and yet mm -hmm. the 18 to 22-year-old student always stays the same. So... Um, I, I rely on social media and YouTube to help <laughs> and listening, uh, letting you guys tell me what you want and what you need uh, yeah. is really important. Yes, of course. So how do you overcome these challenges? Uh, so yeah, listening yep. is a big one. Um, but also part of the benefit of there's very few when it comes to programs and events that I'm doing, mm -hmm. um, the majority of the time. I am behind the scenes helping eliminate hurdles, trying to find funding and collaborations and resources to help make it happen, marketing an event. Um, so my hope, if I'm doing my best work, mm -hmm. is to create a structure where students can kind of plug in a great idea and go, and I can help eliminate a little bit of stress, and uh, hopefully you'll learn something from it. Great. Is there anything you would like to change or improve in our Hartwick community? I think if we could be a more democratic about our decision making, um, that would probably help. Uh, students mm -hmm. consistently say that they want more communication, they want more transparency. Uh, as a college, there's lots of decisions that of course are made uh, 
by the administration, um, of course with the students in mind, mm -hmm. uh, but there's always work to be done about better communication and better transparency. That's never ending. Um, so let's say we can always work on that. Great. You've recently received recognition as Advisor of the Year from Student Senate. Congrats, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> what has been the most rewarding part of your job? Uh, it's when students say thank you. Uh, and that's what that what that's what that felt like to mm -hmm. me. Um, it was in some ways uh, surprising because I didn't expect student senate who voted on that to acknowledge their own advisor. Mm -hmm. I always I'm trying to encourage them and give them highlights of other advisors that I think are doing really great work. So for them to think that I was the best last year was really was really fantastic. Um, and when I have students that connect with me years after. Uh, get them every now and again mm -hmm. a student will text me out of the blue and say thank you mm -hmm. or you really meant a lot to me back then um, I've been in I've been doing this work as a professional for 13 years wow. uh, so I've seen a lot of student senates a lot of clubs a lot of students mm -hmm. um, to then come back years later when they have families and they've started a job and, and maybe even um, working some of them are working at colleges themselves mm -hmm. they really appreciate and, and think to reach out to me uh, that makes it all worth it even that quick moment that quick Right. Um, do you have any leadership advice? Gosh, uh, be honest with yourself and what your passions are. Those, um, when you maximize those things and you focus on what you're passionate about, um, you'll never lose the determination and purpose to get them done. So uh, find some time to always remind yourself of what you're passionate about and stick with those things. Oh, right. This is the last question. Oh, gosh. Um, so, on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the highest chance, do you think this video will make it to Vogue? Gosh, I hope so. Let's give it a 10. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you so much, Josh. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> Bye. Bye.